Our Kilt Ambassador today is Steve and Walters of Long Island. Steve describes himself as a typical melting pot American. His heritage on his mom's side goes back to County Cork in Ireland. His dad's side includes both Ireland and Scotland and has probable links to the Buchanan and Scott clans. And for spice, he's also got some Norwegian and Italian in the mix. He says he really loves sharing his genealogical and cultural discoveries with his family, especially his son. Steve is a paramedic. His start in the profession began when his godfather, who was an EMT, died of complications following a car accident. Steve explains, I wanted to see if I could do the things this man I looked up to could. So I became an EMT and joined our local volunteer service. I found I liked the job and it felt like what I was supposed to be doing. Steve started working as an EMT for a major NYC hospital, mostly in Queens. Later, he became a paramedic. It's not work for the faint of heart, let me tell you. On any given shift, Steve can go from a stabbing incident to transferring a two-hour-old baby to treating a heart attack victim. Steve was on the front lines through the pandemic, working in some of New York's hardest hit areas. He says simply that it just keeps him on his toes. Now, he's currently a lieutenant in his volunteer ambulance company, and he also mentors a youth squad, which he helped start. Steve got his first kilt for St. Patty's Day in 2020. The plan was to wear it for the parades and the parties, but of course, that never happened. He finally got to wear it a year later, and that got him hooked. He went from wearing a kilt to weddings and festivals to wearing them three or four times a week. He's also gotten his son into wearing a kilt. No surprise there. Steve explains that after working through the pandemic, kilts became a sort of metaphorical screw you to COVID. After going through everything he did, he says he saw it as something he could do to make himself happy, which sounds about right to me. Normally, for work, Steve wears uniform pants, but sometimes if he's called out suddenly for support, he just might end up kilted on the ambulance. He says, Recently, a crew asked for additional manpower for a call that turned out to be a cardiac arrest. I had to explain to the family how we were doing everything the ER would be doing and giving them all the information I could. While fighting back tears, they thanked me, looked down to see the kilt, looked back up, and smiled. That patient survived and is doing well. When you can make someone smile while they're having one of their worst days, it's powerful. Working as a paramedic is clearly something that Steve is proud of. Most of the time, it's not action and saving lives. It's basically holding Granny's hand and calming her down, helping her realize everything's going to be okay. He says he's met so many interesting people on the ambulance that he's become a collector of stories. He's met a Tuskegee Airman, women who survived Auschwitz, people who have traveled the globe, and some pretty amazing stories from everyday people. He says, that's an unexpected bonus of the job. Now to relax, Steve enjoys music, especially Celtic punk, and plays bass. We actually first met him at our beloved Celtic Classic Music Festival, in fact. But Steve's biggest hobby right now is leatherwork. He crafts everything from radio straps for his friends to sporns and kilt belts. Hang out on the Kilts and Culture Facebook group and you'll probably get to see some of his stuff eventually. So in closing, I want to applaud Steve for his energy, positive attitude, and seriously hard work. And hey, he informed me that the 49th annual National EMS Week is this month, May 21st to 27th. The goal is to bring recognition to the dedication of EMS providers, agencies, and partners. And there are a number of events. So if you work in the field, thank you. If you know someone in the field, let them know you respect and appreciate them.